not having children because you don't want to bring them up in the planet that we are about to, exactly. uh, to inhabit. We're going back in time a little. In 2003, we didn't actually realise yet that that year's hot summer would in fact be a sign of trouble to come. You'd best enjoy it, we thought, because it would be unlikely to experience a hot summer quite like that anytime soon. Did no one in politics ever mention anything about climate change then? I spoke about the global threat of climate change. Climate change is a global problem. They did, but apparently it didn't stick. We now have hot summers in places where until recently they were extremely rare. Where one might say, don't let it get to you, others might think differently and make their way to the streets to protest. I'm sorry, my friend. And then there is someone like Blythe Pepino. But this is an emergency. A singer who is so concerned with the state of the planet that she has made a radical decision. So Blythe, you're 32, you're an environmentalist, you're a singer-songwriter, and it was this weekend, just gone actually, that you started Birth Strike. So tell us what it is and why you did that. That's right. Um, so last year I really became very aware of what's happening with our ecological collapse. Because of Blythe and like-minded others, we have now been introduced to the concept of Birth Strike. A decision such as this only hurts when actually you would like to have children. I've made this decision to not have children, which is a very emotional decision for me, especially because I'm in love and I, I love my partner and I, wanna, I would like to imagine that fam family future. It was a really exciting part of the first part of our relationship. It was like, you know, every time we'd make love, it was like, maybe we're going to make babies together in the future. It was a biological, like, urge. Blythe is sacrificing her own desire to have children because she's questioning why you would ever purposefully bring a child into a disaster area. We'll be losing land, both to sea and also to desertification. She's thinking about the countless risks that the child might have to escape floods or infernos. And I'm also really worried about massive temperature rises causing natural disasters. Or that she might have to fight for her food because of the shortages, or that she might have to flee from scarcity wars. And we're looking at war as a result of people losing their homes, losing their security. And if she would manage to reach safe grounds, she might not even be let in. I think that's what scares me the most. I feel afraid of what's happening and what's coming towards us. And I feel afraid because I'm not preparing. I feel like our society, our tribe, it's not preparing. You know, you can handle a threat if you feel that you are doing everything you can to prepare. And then if you die, you die. If, if the hunger comes, it comes. Right now, it feels so out of control because there isn't this group effort. It's a, like a small group of activists going, ah, and then everyone else is like, hmm, yeah, it's bad. And that's it. Okay, that's terrifying. Blythe has made her decision, but her boyfriend is keeping the door open. I'm not gonna let myself sort of mourn fatherhood because I don't wanna have children right now anyway. It's something I would like in the future. And I suppose there's an element, there's an element of hope in there anyway, isn't there still? There's still an element of hope in some way that like, I don't know, maybe there is for me and maybe there isn't for you, I don't know. But we are in a different place in that sense, I guess. Yeah, a little bit. I think so. But it's also not something that, like... I don't know, we've also both spoke hopefully there and said, like, yeah. let's hope that one day is possible. Mm. Yeah. yeah. 